Hi there. How to make leather bracelets out of recycled leather belts. I start with leather belts. I cut them to size. I use a drill, just a regular drill with a drill bit, at least 13 64ths. That makes a good size for the snaps that I use because if you can see that little stem that has to fit through the hole, that sizing seems to work well. Um, that's part of the, the snaps that I use. Um, this part goes on the other side and then you use this setter to pound that in. And the directions come with this little kit that you can buy at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. They're $7.99 and I always use the 40% coupon on them. They used to carry the Tandy Leather sna Snaps. Um, they just changed companies, I'm sure, because it's cheaper. Um, but you can always price check those. And they come in gold and silver. This is just the best way for me to get them for the price. Sometimes the holes in the belt for the, the belt holes, I can utilize those holes to put the snaps in. It just depends on how far apart they are and if it's long enough to fit around my wrist. Um, sometimes if it has this leather piece already woven through here when you cut them, um, you have to glue. I might cut this one off a little bit farther and then glue this on the back so that I'm not losing, losing that leather because otherwise it's going to come out eventually if I don't glue that down in the back. Sometimes when they're plain, I use a wood burner actually and engraved designs. I've had some really nice ones with trees. This is just what I have at the moment. If it's really wide, I'll utilize two snaps on them. And this one is actually, I use silverware sometimes for de extra decoration. This was a little butter knife. Silver plated silverware is the only way to go because it's bendable. And then I, again, from the leather supplies, I use these rivets and this has holes in it because I'm going to hang some charms from it. And this is a spoon that I've connected to that. I just use a cheap pair of scissors to cut the belts. And after I've cut them and it looks really rough, I'll clean them up and nice and round. If you want to smooth that off and make it not so raw, if you wet this, wet your leather and rub it on wood. So if you just rub it back and forth on wood, it'll smooth it out and kind of give it that same kind of seal, the edge, the edges. Sometimes I take time to do that. Sometimes I don't. And if it's black, sometimes I'll just use a Sharpie and cover that up. Sometimes your buckles can be utilized for something else. I haven't come up with an idea for these. Sometimes the smaller ones can be used for bracelets. Leftover pieces can be used for keychains. This one was a belt, the Indian belts. Um, it was just perfect once I cut off the, oops, sorry, cut off the buckle to put a snap in there and then it was a triple, triple bracelet. I've done that with some other small, narrow, narrow belts. As long as they're leather, that's the really important part. And then sometimes they already have parts on there that I utilize, like this one I already had the pieces riveted together because that was a style of belt that it was and then once I popped out those rivets with some cutters and I put a snap on the back it makes for a really big cuff. I think that's about it. These are my supplies and these are my bracelets and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.